Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to week 10, turning $100 into a million. And let me tell you, last week did not go as planned. And you know what? It is what it is. We entered a position, we got a bit greedy, and then we simply paid the price. There's nothing that I would have changed from last week's actual trade. I think this trade was absolutely beautiful. This head, left head, right shoulder, beautiful retest of the neckline, four hour perfect retest of the EMA. This is exactly what I would look for every single week, every single time I take a trade. This is my trade. This is how I've made more than $10 million in the markets, taking this exact same trade right here. Now, that doesn't mean that I have 100% win rate. There's obviously a uh, losses that are involved. And I'd say my win rate is 60 to 70%. This just happens to be one of those trades that is part of that 30 and that 40%. It is as simple as that, even though in fact it did start playing out. I uh, price decided to go against us, but if this trade would have hit, which more times than not it does, it gives us a one to four risk to reward ratio. So nothing that we can simply change about that on this week, but other great opportunities that I foresee and can forecast ahead. First one is going to be this market where on the daily time frame we have a perfect left head right shoulder obviously inverted weekly time frame we have a beautiful retest of this level of support and resistance and then four hour time frame we're having a perfect break and retest above this level of support and resistance give you guys a little sneak peek there of what pair it is you got to go back and pause it i'm basically interested in taking this position in the next 37 minutes if this one hour time frame could close engulfing i'd probably be interested in taking this trade it's very clean, as perfect as it gets. Next is going to be this market, which we are seeing a very clean rejection from this weekly EMA, weekly doji candlestick, and we are having a pullback as we have been anticipating. What I love to see is on the daily time frame that price is slowing down as it's approached this level of support and resistance, which we're waiting for the pullback daily dojis to then sell. Basically, I'm just waiting for a quick little break and retest under here to then enter this trade to the downside. Next is going to be this market, which we are very clearly interested in buys. You can see here that we have had a substantial deep higher low daily time frame. We have accumulated at this level of resistance. And what I'm anticipating for price to do is break and retest that level on the four hour. So a quick break and retest on the four hour would be exactly what I would be interested on in taking with this position. Very clean, very textbook, straight to the point. And then lastly, this one, all you guys know which one it is. We're going to be waiting for a lower high to retest this area to then the downside. So plenty of opportunities this week. Do not let them go over your head. Make sure you use risk management this week. And ladies and gentlemen, have a fantastic week ahead and set and forget.